Hey everybody, we're here today to talk about our latest story sack and we've done it around the book uh, Bear Wants More. So included in your story sack, you'll have the book. You're also going to have an activity that looks like this and inside that you're going to have all these popsicle sticks with different um, pictures on them and you're going to use them to retell the story or to match when it comes up in the story. Um, we've included a whole bunch of suggestions for you to use on this little handy sheet. So the next activity you're going to find is a food group sorting activity because this bear is very hungry and that's kind of the premise of the book. So you're going to find your plate with uh, some of the different food groups, your fruit, grains, vegetables, proteins, and dairy. And I know that that's changed a little bit from the Canada's Food Guide, but this is just kind of for an example for kids to play with. And you're also going to find a colored sheet and you can cut out all the different foods and do some matching. So you can talk about which ones are fruits and vegetables and naming and labeling. And you can also use, use these to feed the bear, which is our next, next activity. And so this is the bear cup that you're going to be able to make. You're going to get a paper plate. You're going to get the snout, the nose, the eyes, and you're also going to get a chip box that has been donated to us from um, Wes's. Wes's, obviously. And so this is what you're going to be making. Just tear up the tissue paper. You can glue it on. Once you get the face itself done, you can uh, hot glue it onto the chip box. And this is what you're going to use to feed the bear. Along with that, you're going to find these cute cards. And we have shapes, letters, and numbers in here. So we've got some little fishy shapes that the bear can eat. And as you're um, using the cards, you can talk about what shapes they are. We've got some pink number cards, and we've also got some blue letters. So you can either lay them out and say, oh, can you find the B? And depending on your child's age, or you can just label them as they're feeding them. You can even turn it into a fun scavenger hunt saying, okay, you need to go on a hunt. See if you can find the number one or the circle fish. Lots of fun activities with that. We also have um, some bear wants more questions. And so you're going to find this sheet and it's got the mouse, the hungry, the badger, a few of the different answers. And then you'll find the questions. So how did bear, bear feel when he woke up? And you're going to look at the answers and try to match up the questions with the answers. And you can also match them up with the answers in the book. We have um, two little paper bags and all you do is attach the little claws onto them. And that makes two little um, bear paws that your kids can use to play with and we have this song sheet that has different songs on it about bears bear going on a, a chase little brown bear um, all kinds of fun stuff there as well and learning and playing is a lot of work so the last thing we added was a bear paw a little treat a little snack for your little buddies who are enjoying their story sack I know it's been long anticipated that's it have fun and don't forget, post pictures. We love to see your kids and what they do with all the fun activities that we give you. Thanks, everybody.